Shit, all right, cool. So I recently posted this image of a bunch of black shoes uh, to my Instagram. I guess I could show it if I could, if I could put it right there so you could see I have a lot of black shoes. Actually, that image is like not even, there's probably five more pairs that weren't even on there that were just, I found in my closet just now. Well, let's go through. Probably one of the older pairs that I have are these Chuck Taylors. The other thing is I don't look good in high tops if I'm wearing shorts. That's another thing because I'm kind of a short guy. I don't like to wear high tops with shorts. I actually don't like to wear high tops if you can kind of even tell that they're high tops. So I usually have jeans that come down pretty low, like right here. Um, these, however, suffer from another thing that I don't really like, which is, I'm sure you all know, if you have a pair of shoes for a long time, you get this like, this like scuff thing that happens here that it wears down. Um, over time. Also, these started getting a hole in the front, um, which happens to Chuck Taylors over time. They get like a hole. It's, it's like how you walk. I probably have a really bad walk or whatever. Um, so they're kind of worn down, but I still will bust these out from time to time. You saw that one's missing a shoelace. I have no idea why. I've been wearing this style of shoe, low top and high top, for mo the majority of my life. Uh, they're just comfortable to me. Obviously, the sizing is kind of weird. I typically wear like a 10 and a half, um, but usually get Chuck Taylors a size bigger. So I'm an 11 and a half for those. And uh, actually, I got a newer version of these when, the, when these started to blow out a little bit. I actually got them in this like pleather kind of shit. And you can see like, I haven't worn them much because they're pretty like straight in the back. The heel hasn't started to wear down much. I try not to wear these too much. I don't have a lot of shoes that are like, um, how could I say, like, I guess they'd be all right in like a business setting. I, I kind of like walk fast. I tend to blow out shoes pretty quick and then I don't want to like roll up. Not that it matters anymore, but typically I didn't like to roll up to offices or meetings with like fucked up shoes. So I have these, I guess they're like slightly more professional, but I don't know. Uh, let's go to one that I literally never wear. This is like, I've probably worn these twice in the past uh, year. These are these really dumb hipster Doc Martens that I, I probably got from some cringe place like Urban Outfitters. They're all fucked up with dust and shit like that. I mean, the style of them is cool. I, I can't really pull these off that well which is why, and the main thing honestly is that they're super uncomfortable. Um, I just, I don't like it. Another thing about these, I don't know if anybody has these, I don't know what the material is, but they get hot, they get super hot. I think that maybe my feet are hotter than the normal person, but um, my I get the foot sweats with those heavy. Um, these are old running shoes. I actually upgraded my running shoes, but these are just some cheap ass Nikes that I probably got from like Dick's Sporting Goods or something like that. I couldn't tell you what the style is. Again, it's like a 10 and a half probably or 11. Yeah, these are 10 and a half. Um, super comfortable. I've seen other people with these from time to time. They look fine. Like I kind of like, I know like people are into chunky sneakers now. Again, because of my stature and shit, I, I can't really pull off the chunk style. These got a little chunk though going. Um, they're starting to blow out though. You can kind of see at the top, there, there's like a little bit of a hole happening there. What's cool about these running style shoes is all that wear and tear that happens with the, I don't know if you call them dressier shoes or more simple shoes, it doesn't really affect shoes like this. These can kind of do whatever as far as the sole goes. And even though these are glued soles, like the sole is uh, glued to the fabric here, they're, they don't peel away at all. Like usually if I have glued sole sneakers, I'll, and I wore these a lot, usually the sole will start to uh, start to split uh, from the fabric, but nah, these have held up, I guess. Um, well, I don't wanna get into talking about sweatshops and stuff, but I guess Nikes are well made. Um, oh yeah, yeah, these, these are cool. So I'm pretty sure I got these from Payless. So I saw everybody had wears these, uh, you know, all graphic designers. It's like a requirement now to wear all birds, I guess. 
Um, Allbirds is a cool company, nothing bad to say about that. It's just that like, if I'm gonna basically roll the dice on a shoe I've never really had any kind of deep affection for, I don't want to spend like $100 or whatever. So these I think were like $15. They're, I think they're, doc, yeah, they're Dr. Scholl's. They kind of have that all birds feel. I mean, they're whack. I, I never wear these. I, I wore them for like a week and then I saw myself in a reflection. And I just said, yeah, this, I look like a fucking idiot. So I don't wear these anymore. They're super lightweight. What's weird about these, I don't know what the soles are made of, but these treads have absolutely zero stick at all. You will literally slide on a sidewalk, like on a cement sidewalk. You start fucking sliding away like it's ice. So if you, if you, like, some, if you like some stick and some grip, I wouldn't go for those. Um, here's a shoe I wore a lot. I'm a little bit embarrassed about this because these are actually ASOS brand, uh, like, I don't know what you would call these. What do you call these? Like shoes? <laughs> Regular shoe? It's not a sneaker. I don't know. It, there's These are a little bit dumb. Uh, the toe is too low, which gives it kind of a weird profile. Um, the thing is, they're just like, they're simple enough where they don't really like confuse any outfits, um, which is kind of my style. The thing is, they're so cheap that they, they wear out super quick. Um, something I, you can see that they're worn down a lot. Something I really don't like out of a shoe like this or any kind of sneaker is like, I don't like any shoes that have like a skate shoe feel. Um, so I typically go for ones that have a simpler, like lower cut profile because skate shoes tend to be a little chunkier. I just don't like that Bama skate shoe vibe. So I try to avoid it whenever possible. But these can, I can kind of see how these kind of fall into that territory a little bit of a skate shoe. Um, they're fine. I've worn them a lot, probably too much than I, than I should have. I should probably pay myself a little bit more respects um, and make some stronger fashion choices now that I'm an old man. Um, ASOS is a great company though, as far as I know. Um, I, I always like their products. They, they have a lot of like their own brand shoes that they make. It seems like some of them are fashion forward. I don't know. I'm not particularly too fashion forward, so I really wouldn't know about that. All right, so another another embarrassing purchase that I made, um, and honest, to be honest with you, I don't even know where I got these, but I went ahead years ago, probably three years ago, and bought these wild ass shiny bitches right here. I've worn them to work like back in the day a few times. I don't know, they're fine. They're just kind of whack, but I, I, they're simple. There's, except for the fucking shiny bullshit. It, it's hard to really wear these in an everyday setting without obviously looking like a complete idiot. I don't know, I went for it. I'm pretty sure these are pretty cheap. Like, I don't know what this brand is. International, international concept. <laughs> Whatever, I have these. I haven't thrown them out yet. I'll probably just give them to like Goodwill or something. So some younger kid can do some cool shit with them. Uh, so those were a while ago. I showed you my older running shoes. These are my new running shoes. I mean, I've had them like a year. These are Nike Roshi, I think. Same thing. Like it's great. The sole doesn't take any wear and tear really. I run on the street and like these are all good. Really comfortable, really form fitting. The material is like, it's tough, but it's super malleable. So it kind of just conforms to your foot or whatever. And I don't know, the main thing for me with running is like, I've again, like my stature is like, you know, stout. So if I don't have comfortable shoes, I'll get like shin splints and fucking my back will hurt and all that kind of shit. And I've heard lots of people like my dad tell me I need Brooks. I heard that's the best running shoe ever. But uh, I don't know, maybe maybe when I'm 40, I'll hit up the Brooks. For now, these aren't get, causing me any problems, so. Two more pairs. <clears throat> this is another everyday shoe. This is kind of my upgrade from those weird ass ASOS things. These are just Stan Smiths. I mean, I feel like lots of people have pairs of these. Again, I can't pull off the white ones or the white soles. Um, I have to go all black, but I love these shoes. They don't interrupt any pants or anything else that I'm wearing. I mean, I 
I know it's maybe a faux pas or whatever. I wear these shits with fucking blue fucking dress pants. I, I don't give a fuck. I wear these shits with whatever. Jeans, doesn't matter. They're really well made. Like, they're super duper solid. Like, a little bit on the chunkier side for, for what I like, but they're not that chunky. I think that's probably just in my head. I've got nothing bad to say about Adidas. They're great. I, I've mostly been a Nike person my whole life for literally no reason except that where I'm from people just wore Nikes um so I you know when you want to be cool and you're in eighth ninth grade and getting into whatever the trends are yeah no one was wearing Adidas when I was a kid so it just didn't stick the last pair this is a pair of shoes not this exact pair but this style of shoe I got some shit on them that I've probably been wearing since I was 12 um I'm, I grew up in Long Island, and pretty much on Long Island in the 90s, you either wore Air Force Ones or Jordans. Um, these are Jordan Ones, and this style obviously became the dunk. There was an explosion in the late 90s with all different styles of dunks, and everybody had a signature model and this and that and the other thing. I'm sure there's like Supreme dunks that probably sell for $1,000, you know, or you could go to Flight Club and get like Jordan 1 original, blah, 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 original colorway. All that shit's whatever. I, I've been wearing all black probably since ninth grade. This is probably maybe my 10th pair of high top all black dunks that I've had in my life. These are actually in pretty good condition, even though I've had these for, yeah, you can see there that they're not actually dunks, they're Jordan 1s, it says Air Jordan. Um, not that that matters. These shoes, I man, I can't say enough good things about these shoes. Um, there's, and again, this could be in my head just from the fact that I've worn them for so long, but like, like I said before, I don't wear a lot of high tops because I think they look whack on short guys. Um, the profile of this shoe is sleek enough that you can pull up, pull them off high top as a short person if you tie them to the top. That's the key for me. I tie them at the top, not only so that for pants, the pants can fall down on top of them easily, but I think it just makes the profile tighter and it looks a little better for short guys. Now, if you're tall with skinny legs, you can fucking leave this shit untied. Like I see a, I see a lot of people that can really style on these where they, they don't even lace them up to the top. They'll just like tie a little loose ass bow right here, let the tongue fucking whatever. I mean, if you tall with skinny legs, you can pull off a lot of shit and you know, more power to you. That's it. That's most of my shoes. I have like two, two, three pairs of dress shoes, like including a pair of boots that I will do for like work shit, but fucking COVID world, I ain't dressing up for shit. 